Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Thanks so much for joining in. And today we'll be recapping the national championship game. Holy shit, what a game. UGA finally, finally gets over the hump, beats Alabama, wins the national championship, beats Saban. Kirby had lost, what, four or five, in, or UGA had lost four or five in a row versus Saban. Finally, UGA gets over the hump, not just to win the national championship game, which has been coming for 10, 12, 15 years now, but to do it beating Saban, how pure and perfect is that? So in this video, we'll be looking back at some of the heartache over the years from the Aaron Murray tip pass on the last drive to when our confidence was high with dang Grayson Lambert at QB, getting beat in our own backyard, getting beaten in our own backyard in one of uh, Mark Rick's last years in the rain um, to SEC championship game heartbreaks. I mean, the list goes on and on. And first and foremost, I would like to first off apologize to Stetson Bennett. I was one of his biggest doubters all year. Didn't think he had what it took to win the national championship game. Didn't think Kirby had the balls to take Stetson out and play JT at half. But hey, it ended up being the complete opposite. It ended up being Kirby. Kirby was the one that was had the balls to make the big decision. And the big decision was to not switch quarterbacks, but was to stick with Stetson Bennett. He looked very sort of out of his element for three quarters, but none of that mattered because he played a near flawless fourth quarter. The fumble was not a fumble. Um, he looked perfect in the fourth quarter, showed up when it mattered, proved me and I'd say every other doubter wrong. So shout out Stetson Bennett, all-time legend at Georgia. Um, and of all players to get the job done, it was Stetson Bennett. Kudos to him. A few things I just love to see that I'd uh, brought up in some of my previous videos that did happen was we did not give up on the run. I'd been harping on this in my five things UGA needs to do to beat Alabama video, but one of the big ones is we did not give up on the run. We ran the ball in the second half. And we ran the ball effectively in the second half. In fact, our first touchdown drive of the game, we didn't even throw the ball one single time. So huge, huge game from our running backs. Um, our defense worked their tails off, worked tirelessly the whole game. People were questioning the stamina of our defense. What an absolute clown take that was after the SEC championship game. To question one of the best defenses the past 10 years, saying they're not fit enough to play on the same field as Alabama. Only recorded three sacks versus Bryce Young, two of them on the last drive. But, I mean, Bryce Young was probably hit 10, 15 times, if I were to guess. Huge, huge game from our defense. It was the definition of bend, don't break. Gave up lots of, lots of, like, five, six yards here, there. I mean, Bam had plenty of first downs. But, I mean, we held, we held Bam at a field goals. We, we dug in in the red zone. After that big play to Latu, their tight end, down to the Georgia five. Bama had to settle for a field goal. Um, the only drive, Bama had one drive all game where they could run the ball on us. One drive the entire game. And um, we ended up blocking a field goal on that drive. Um, and obviously, this game would have been the same if they had met Sheer Williams. Who knows what, what would have happened? Who cares? But I do feel bad for them. You always hate to see a player get injured, especially it's. It's fun to watch uh, players as talented as Mechie and uh, Jameson Williams play. So I hope uh, this doesn't have a huge impact on their career or anything. But uh, yeah, back to the dogs. I mean, what a performance. What a game. It was a dog fight early. I was um, I was sort of down and out at halftime. Only six points. Like our offense looked stagnant. Shout out to George Pickens for probably the only positive thing that happened to our offense for roughly three full quarters. Um, until the uh, Zamir White touchdown, which we're seeing now. But probably the only positive thing to happen was that Pickens catch. A shout to him. Um, AD Mitchell stepped up. That was another thing I said in my video. I said, we need to start using our younger receivers more in Ladd McConkey and AD Mitchell. And boy, did AD Mitchell step up. What a throw and catch. Primarily what a catch. Just trust your receiver. He went up and got it. Absolutely love that from him. Um, in the third quarter, we started out really well. First drive of the game was our pretty much our first drive of the game where it was like controlled. We were getting first downs at will. And then we had 
two uh we had a third and eight um uh, roughly around the bama 45 where we decided to throw 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 and we ended up punting and that was after a successful running i would have loved to see some third down runs um and then set up a short fourth down we did that on back-to-back -back drives in the uh, to start off the third quarter after the Bama pick, we had a similar situation where we had a third and eight around the Bama 30, 45 through in completion, then had a punt because it was not a manageable fourth down. Um, but hey, so I, I was I was certainly down and out, down nine six, two two drives where we could have taken advantage of the game but didn't. But then Bama drove. We blocked the field goal, but uh, I'll tell you one thing: Kirby did came nowhere near giving up. None of these guys gave up. That was a hell of a fight, even when momentum shifted towards Bama. And the biggest moment of the game was after Stetson fumbled, which was not a fumble, and they got a cheap, cheap, cheap touchdown. The dogs did not give up, did not give up for a second. So even after all the momentum of a dead first half for Georgia, um, again, not converting on our successful drives early in the third quarter, the fumble, which led to the Bama touchdown, the dogs dug in and dug 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 deep and we shot ourselves in the foot quite a bit with all, quite a few penalties quite a few penalties but again georgia was there to play uh this team worked tirelessly i'd say that we've had georgia may have even had more talented teams in the past but this team played as a unit you saw nicobe dean the way he uh, was controlled that defense constantly demanding the best out of the players on the team he he performed well Lewis Sign, what a game, what a game. Um, our offense really got into gear when it mattered. Like I said, the three quarters of stagnant offense mean nothing because Stetson Bennett played a perfect fourth quarter, got the monkey off his back, dogs win, Kirby wins, Saban loses. I mean, perfect game. And what a way to cap it off. What a way to cap it off. Then Achille Ringo pick six. Our season started with a pick six versus Clemson. There's two pictures that pretty much mirror each other um, from the Clemson game to the national championship game. Uh, very similar. Kirby jumping in the background. I mean, iconic, iconic moments. What a team. Um, there was an old clip I saw of N'Kobe Dean and Lewis Sign in high school talking about how they wanted to physically beat and overpower Bama, how they came to Georgia to dominate Bama and be the best defense in the country. This is them, their senior year of high school or so. And look at them, years later, they did just that. Dogs national champions. Um, can't wait for next year. Can't wait for next year. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to walk through the East. Uh, so excited for Oregon week one. Let's go, dogs. Please like and subscribe.